Wow, it's exactly the question I was going to ask, and you just answered it. Yeah. I keep hearing a lev. Lev. A lev, are you there? Uh, yes, John. Wow. I and just I had your, to... I see your guide behind you, too. Oh, wow. You have a female guide. She's saying not family. Contracted. This is a contract. She's contracted for this life and has worked with you in the past. Worked in and out of lifetimes with you. If y'all didn't know this, some, some of you work in and out of lifetimes. Some lifetimes you'll be incarnated and there's a guy that works with you. And then sometimes that other person will incarnate and you'll be their guide. Or the reason we do that is we go in and out of these relationships with one another and we get to where we really know one another. And some souls really like to do that, roll back and forth like that. I'm getting like Jeanette. Jeanette has curly hair. She has curly hair and uh, she's sporting a V-neck dress. And uh, it's not a mini skirt, but it's it's above the knees. <laughs> she's my kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, it, she's kind of she's kind of flamboyant. She's European, and and uh, she's kind of flashy. She's saying a love needs to follow her heart and not worry about the other things in life. Don't worry about how you look to other people. Don't worry about these these situations around you anymore about how people might think about who you are being now, who you are being in your heart. Don't worry about how everyone is perceiving you because of you being you or your truth, which is different. She's saying, which is different from who you were. She's saying you're starting to walk into your truth. So be it, live it. And those who are going to be happy with you will be happy. And those who do not, don't worry. Just send love to them and be happy yourself. <laughs> she says, you're so bubbly. You're so bubbly. And you have that energy, that energy that if you, she's saying, if you don't let this out, She's going like that. If you don't let this out, what happens is you become ill. That's when you don't feel right. You feel repressed. And, and she's going like this. You feel repressed inside of yourself. Oh, wow. It's exactly the question I was going to ask. And you just answered it. Yeah. And I was thinking that that's what it is because I have a lot of pain that just like I've been doing a lot of healing. It's not even like regular pain. It just is tension that keeps on moving around. And I think, yeah, I'm constantly trying to suppress certain parts of myself. Yeah, exactly. It's that bubbly part of me that I'm like, oh, I'm just too much. So I have to like suppress it, like make it quieter. Like I'm always trying to censor myself. Yeah, she's going like, she's going like this, that you're, that you're, blo she's saying you're blocking. Oh. You're blocking your energy flow. And when you block that energy flow, what happens is it builds up in you and it starts to become, a, it's like a pressure. She mm -hmm. says you feel a pressure throughout your body and you mm -hmm. feel uncomfortable with that flow. So ground yourself, ground yourself and connect and visualize that energy flowing through you freely mm -hmm. and be yourself. She's saying be the joy that a love is. And now she's sending, now she's sending love. She's sending love to you.